patients with atrial fibrillation are at increased risk of stroke. To reduce that risk, warfarin anticoagulation is often used. But when these patients require surgery or an invasive procedure, warfarin usually has to be stopped perioperatively. The question then is what to do about anticoagulation. A frequent practice is to bridge the patient temporarily with heparin around the time of surgery. But is that necessary? The bridge trial was designed as a non-inferiority study to answer that question. 1,884 patients with atrial fibrillation were randomized to receive either subcutaneous low molecular weight heparin or placebo injections twice a day while their warfarin was being withheld. The warfarin was stopped five days before surgery and restarted within 24 hours after surgery. The primary outcomes were arterial thromboembolism and major bleeding. The incidence of arterial thromboembolism was 0.3% in the low molecular weight heparin group and 0.4% in the placebo group. The incidence of major bleeding was 3.2% with heparin and 1.3% with placebo. The authors conclude that for patients with atrial fibrillation, simply discontinuing anticoagulation in the perioperative period is not inferior to the common practice of switching to heparin. The decision to fully interrupt anticoagulation perioperatively may prevent major bleeding during surgery and invasive procedures, and this approach does not appear to increase the risk of stroke. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.